So if you are like me, you are probably really interested and you will have seen this Zoe Nutritional Health Kit everywhere. It is on all the Stephen Bartlett Diary of a CEO podcast. It is all over my Instagram feed. And if you're like me, you're probably gonna wanna know a bit more about like your gut microbiome. I find all this stuff really interesting. So I am going on a Zoe journey and I thought I would bring you along with me. I will say the packaging is really like expensive feeling to check into the toilet to see when there is gonna be some blue oh my god I, we went out for wagamamas and then i had a Krispy cream when we got home and honestly my blood sugar was going steady and then as soon as i had the donut it went phew. um there's white chocolate chips is the first ingredient so that's filling me with a lot more confidence okay so it is now lunch and oh, my lunch today is these blue cookies it is oh that's my timer perfect so i actually got like a good amount of blood in the five minutes Now I have already opened the box and I am on my test day currently. So I have taken my first test cookie of the day. I'm gonna insert that clip after this video. I'm just kind of doing it as and when I can get the chance to film. So leading up to my test day, I got the box a week ago. I scanned it all and logged all in on the app. And then yesterday I had to apply my blood sugar sensor. So that is here. Um, I kind of talk a bit about this when I'm eating my first test cookie actually, but it just comes in one of the boxes in the kit. It was really easy to apply. It's not as scary as you think it's gonna be, so don't let that put you off. So that is currently on now, and I am like biohacking my glucose. Um, I'm just getting loads of different readings from it. It's really cool, actually. All you do is just like tap your phone to it. So this came in the box and I set that up yesterday. So in the box, you get a barcode to scan and that is your barcode to set up your kit. You get this high little like read me to get started and this talks you through kind of what your journey is going to be like, how to test on your test day and how to set up the Zoe app to kind of suit you. Then in the box, what's also really nice is that it says that this kit was packed for me by Martin. Thanks Martin. Um, so that was like a nice little personal touch. I will say the packaging is really like expensive feeling. It is, it's given like Apple vibes. You know when you get like a new phone from Apple, it's got a lovely like embossed branding. They've got obviously this yellow brand color that they're going for. All the fonts are all the same and then they've just got little symbols to help you identify which kit and which box is what. So this is the gut health test. Um, this is empty because I can confirm I have done my gut health test. I did it after my morning cookie this morning. Um, it was actually quite easy to do. The kit that they gave you and the explanations were really easy. I did have one concern and I just reached out to the live chat function on the app. And I have used that like three or four times now um, just because I want to make sure that I'm doing everything correct. And they get back to me within like 10 to 30 minutes. They're really helpful, really friendly. I'd say it's a really good function. And I'd say they've got it set up perfectly from that customer service, customer support angle. So within this gut health test kit, I got another little kind of like leaflet telling me how to do it. I got all the samples to do my gut health test kit. That is a mouthful. Um, and then I got my prepaid for box to send it back to the labs at Zoe. So you get that in the kit, you get your, so it's kind of like stacked like a three. I take that out. And then at the bottom, I had my blood sensor kit. So again, they're all in these boxes and it's just like nicely laid out. It's made from 100% recyclable paper, so I can reuse or recycle it. I think I'm definitely gonna reuse it as a storage box. But in my blood sugar sensor kit, again, you get kind of a little pamphlet of how to do this. 
and on the app because it knows that you're going to be doing it. There's also a step-by-step -step video that you can follow along. It just takes you through how to do it, makes it less scary, and it is really well thought out. The fact that they kind of have all these steps in place to help you know what's going to be happening, and they've got various versions of instructions. So if you're like me and you can sometimes get like baffled with loads of little wordy instructions, they've got the video. But I will say these instructions instructions are really visually friendly as well and they tell you how to do it so that was really good and then in my blood sugar sensor box I got two of these sticky patches so that is just to place over your sensor once it's stuck in just to stop you knocking it out of your skin um, because I did sign up for the blood test trial, so I'm part of the research study group with Zoe now. Um, this is something that you can opt into if you want to, you don't have to. If you don't, I think you only have the sensor on for three days. Um, but because I opted in to be part of this like study, I have to wear this for 14 days, so two weeks. So after the first week, I will probably change my little sticky pad and I'll just replace it with this. So they just came in the top there with an alcohol rubbing wipe just to clean the area of your skin before you actually insert the blood sugar sensor. And then inside the box, you also got your Freestyle Libre blood sugar sensor kit. This came with your applicator. So this is kind of like my used applicator in here. Again, you had instructions. And then this is what the blood sugar sensor was in. This was open. And I literally just popped it on my arm here, looked in the mirror to make sure it was kind of central and in a fleshy bit, and you just press down. I will say when I was pressing, it wasn't going in and you really just have to kind of be like, <sighs> and just jab it in. <laughs> it's mainly the anticipation that you need to get over, but I know you guys are gonna be brave and I know you guys are gonna get through it. So you will be completely fine. I'm still standing and this is just kind of like the leftover stuff. So that was in my blood sugar sensor box. Also, what I like about these boxes, if I just pop these ones back in here, we'll tidy up the workspace. So what I like about these boxes is on the front of each box, there is like a little kind of quote and a little bit of information that relates to this. So this is the blood sugar sensor. So it says, ready to discover the power of balancing your blood sugar. It holds the secret to beating the 3 p.m. slump, achieving a healthy weight and feeling fuller for longer. So that's just like quite nice as well. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these boxes as some storage boxes because they are really, really sturdy, really nice. I'll show you this up close because the branding on it and the finish is just amazing. Okay, and then the next kit that I got is my, obviously got health test, I've already shown you that. I don't really want to show you what's inside of it just because I've done the sample now, so I'll let your imagination do the rest. Um, and then the blood test kit, I will be videoing myself doing this. So I will just put like a disclaimer in now, if you are squeamish and you don't want to see me put something into my arm, I will tell you when the time frames in the description when I'm going to do that so you can skip over it and it'll be fine. But in this test, you get again your step-by-step -step instructions to do your blood test kit. Um, it's quite in-depth and they do say to set 15 minutes ahead of time. So once I've had my lunch cookie, I fast for two hours and then take the blood test. But they said to make sure to leave 15 minutes so I can prepare for the blood test because I need to warm my arm up, get the blood flowing, and just make sure that I'm familiar with the instructions. Um, so that is what they look like. And then again, in this kit, it says, a tiny sample can reveal so much about your body's blood fat response to food, which I am personally really interested in. Then I've got my prepaid for shipping box there and then my actual blood test kit. So in this kit you get your warmer pad so you activate this to warm up the area of your arm. They do say to put it on the arm that is opposite to the arm that you've got your tracker in. Then you've got this little device and that is what goes into your arm and you press it to release the blood into this little tube and then I have my little sample kit to take that 
They also really nicely, so we've got the alcohol swab wipe again to clean the area. And then they've thought of everything, they've given you a little plaster as well to put over it just in case you leave after. So I'll bring you along for me doing that anyway. I obviously didn't want to show you me doing my gut health test kit because that is quite personal. And I'm pretty sure YouTube would probably block this video if I included that in. But I can confirm it was really easy to do and any questions that I did have, I just reached out to the team at Zoe and they were really helpful. Also, none of this is sponsored. This is what I have paid for by myself. I'm just interested in learning about this kind of stuff. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys so you could see kind of what was in the box if you wanted to invest in one as well. Then the final box in my Zoe package is obviously my test cookies. So I had my breakfast cookies this morning. There'll be a clip of me eating those and me looking a lot more tired. I think I even have sleep in the corner of my eye. We're real on this channel. I wanna show you, I wanna bring you along for the journey. So I inserted that clip and I'll show you that after this. And then in approximately, Oh, in like five minutes actually, I am gonna be eating my lunch cookies. Um, I was feeling, I went to the supermarket just to get some stuff for dinner, because I'm pretty sure you can have a normal dinner on test day. And I have been feeling really, you can probably see it in my face, my color has gone. I'm feeling quite sicky and just not really the best. Um, a bit spaced out in my head. Obviously, that I reached out to the guys at Zoe, um, my mum is also doing this and she felt the same um, but my dad is also doing it and he feels completely fine but they just said that if your body isn't used to that much sugar or fat in the morning it can leave you feeling like that and it's completely fine. I did get a slight headache as well. So next I will be eating these blue cookies. These are blue because you have to do a gut health check. So basically, um, to see how long it takes for you to process the cookies, you are kind of prompted in the app to check into the toilet to see when there is gonna be some blue. I don't wanna say it, cause I don't know what kind of like YouTube blocks. So I will bring you along for these. Once I have eaten these, I am then going to be fasting for two hours. So I've already fasted for four hours from my breakfast. Then I can eat these. I'm not allowed to have any um, sugar or water uh, or like drinks with milk in so I'm just kind of sticking with my water and it says to stay really hydrated so I have had water and hot water but you can have black coffee or black tea as well but I just thought I'm just gonna stick with water um, so yeah once I've had these blue cookies and I'll bring you along so I can give you a taste test I am then fasting for two hours, then taking my blood test, and then that is it. I don't have to do anything else today. The only thing I need to do is post my blood test sample and my gut health sample back to the Zoe lab so they can analyze those and send me my personalized results for my best nutrition scores. So I am going to just check my app on what exactly I need to do for eating these cookies, and then I'll bring you along to me eating them anyway. But before I bring you along for my lunch cookies, you are gonna just jump to a clip of morning Becky having her lunch ones, and then I'll be back in this outfit eating my, no, eating my morning breakfast cookies, then I'll be back in this outfit eating my lunch cookies. So it's gonna be a bit of back and forth just because of how I film this, but hopefully you guys won't mind that too much. So to past Becky and then to future Becky.
Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, I've just woken up. I have given Woody his breakfast. I've just got myself some water that I have been drinking. So today is my test day for Zoe. I did my blood sugar sensor yesterday and injected that into my arm, put the sticker over it, and I've just been monitoring my blood glucose before starting the test day today. Um, that honestly, it looked a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. The needle, I thought looked bigger than I was expecting. It's not a big needle by any means, but you honestly do not feel a thing. So don't be worried about that if you're thinking about doing it. That was completely fine. But today, as it is test day, I have got my Zoe box here and I have got my breakfast test cookies to eat and my lunch test cookies. So I fasted overnight. This is just like a standard overnight fast that most people will probably do anyway. I think I had my last food at half past eight last night, let's say nine o'clock, um, just like including like snacks before I went to bed. So we're looking at, it's now quarter to, well, 10 to nine in the morning. So I've had quite a long fast period. They just suggest doing it for at least eight hours. Now today, all I can have is some water, black coffee or black tea. And I have to have my breakfast cookies within 15 minutes. I then have to fast, I think it's for four hours or five hours. And then I can have my lunch cookies. Then I fast for two hours and do my blood test. And at any point of the day today, I also have to collect a sample. Um, so I have my Zoe box here. Everything came really nicely packaged. I'll just bend you down a bit so you can see. So you get loads of little different pamphlets on how to do your gut health test, a little high starter leaflet, how to apply your blood sugar sensor. And I will say yesterday when I did apply my blood sugar sensor, I don't know if you can see it, if I can roll up my buddy. So this is where I have it. Um, so I popped all that on. It came in a really easy to use applicator and then it just kind of linked. It tells you to download a blood sugar sensor app and then that links to Zoe as well. They have already set you up with like a login details and account. So that is fantastic. I wasn't sure whether it was meant to start collecting data straight away. So I went onto the live chat with Zoe and I got Sorry, that's Woody. And I got a response from them pretty much immediately and that was just a really nice to have, to know that there's someone there and it's that personalised touch to help you along your journey. So all that is set up now, I've been monitoring my blood sugar. I had like a donut last night and oh my god, I, we went out for Wagamama's and then I had a Krispy Kreme when we got home. And honestly, my blood sugar was going steady and then as soon as I had the donut, it went and dropped straight away, which was just amazing to see. But anyway, so I've opened this Zoe test cookies pack. I'm going to put my lunch ones back in. I'll do like a proper what's in the box for you, but I just thought we'd have these cookies now. So I'm going to shut up this box. So it says to scan the barcode to add the meal. Don't forget to include the exact time you started to eat them. Eat the whole amount within 20 minutes, otherwise we might not be able to give you the results. And within these breakfast cookies, these sound quite like nice, as nice. I've heard some mixed reviews. Um, there's white chocolate chips is the first ingredient. So that's filling me with a lot more confidence. Flour blend, then it's, which consists of like rice, brown, brown rice flour, sweet, ugh. oh my God, my brain is not functioning this morning. Brown rice flour, sweet rice flour, tapioca starch, corn starch, potato starch, Stabilizer, palm oil, brown sugar, chickpea flour, tapioca starch, tapioca syrup, less than 2% water, and vanil vanilla bean extract alternatives. So, I'm going to make a note of the time. It is 8.51. Let's eat some Zoe cookies. They smell okay. Okay, 8.51, let's go. This is what they're looking like. I'll show you up close actually and I'll show you the packaging. Okay, it's now 8.52.
and it's weird because it's kind of like crumbly but then the more you chew it it kind of lines the back of your mouth but overall it's not bad it's not exactly a Maryland but I will say as well, my blood sugar this morning, um, but when I got up was 3.4. I didn't measure it exactly before the cookies. I'll just measure it now. Okay, my blood sugar after having a few bites and since I've been got up and moving is 5.3. I mean, I suppose I'm kind of winning at life by doing this because I get to eat two cookies for breakfast, so. I'm really hoping that they're gonna be quite filling because Otherwise, I have to wait 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, till 2 or 1 o'clock to eat. Okay, guys, I finished cookie number one. I will say it got more moreish the more towards the end of the cookie I got. I'm going to finish cookie two off of camera and then I will keep you updated with what happens next. Okay, so it is now lunch and my lunch today is these blue cookies. It is 12.54. I've heard really mixed reviews about these, so I'm just gonna dive straight in. I don't even, not sure I wanna smell them yet, so let's go. They're not bad. They've definitely got that like rice, flour, tapioca starch flavour. They're a bit claggy. I think if I would have had these this morning, I wouldn't have been put off by them. But because I've already had some cookies like this, it's just like not the best. But they're not bad. But I have 20 minutes to eat these. Um, and just to have loads of water with them as well. So before eating them, I just had to scan the barcode on my app and I also measured my blood glucose level. I think it was at 5.5 and then I'm gonna scan it after, I <coughs> oh my God, a crumb went into the back of my throat, after I've eaten them just to see how it is. So I'm gonna make my way through this cookie and then I'll update you once I've eaten this first one. Okay, if I've got blue in my teeth or on my lips, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to deal with it. One cookie down. It's not that bad. It really isn't. It does line your mouth a little bit and because cookies are all I've eaten today, I'm feeling a bit sick. And when they say that it's 20 minutes to eat a meal, I'd be like 20 minutes to eat two cookies. I think it takes like two minutes to eat two cookies, but you definitely need it just cause they are quite rich and quite dense and they are quite thick, it does take that amount of time to eat them. So I'm moving on to my second cookie now. I'll show you what this looks like up close. So I started at 12.54. It is now 12.59, nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm just gonna start chomping down on this one now as well. I wonder who makes these. Like, who in the Zoe kitchen is making these cookies? How many cookies are they making as well? And what blue dye are they using? Like, because this is bright blue. I'm just pretending that it's like one of those Cookie Monster cookies. You know, that you see like 
and you get like the blue cookie monster donuts as well from like boutique donut and cookie shops in like london or other big cities if you just pretend that that's what you're eating you'll be fine my cookies in the morning had white chocolate chips in these don't this is I mean, it just classes it as a flour blend i think that's why it's so claggy in your mouth um it's got brown rice flour sweet rice flour tapioca starch corn starch potato starch stabilizer brown sugar chickpea flour palm oil tapioca starch less than two percent water tapioca syrup vanilla bean extracts salt color brackets brilliant blue fcf raisin agent which is like baking powder sodium acid phosphate sodium bicarbonate cornstarch and monocalcium phosphate and there is 60.8 grams of protein in 100 grams and these are 125 grams no not protein why do i say protein carbohydrate that's all i've had today carbohydrate i think in the morning cookies there was like four grams of protein and there's like six grams of protein in this normally i would have had like 60 grams of protein by now and per 100 grams there's 17.6 grams of fat in these so that's probably why my body's not responded to them too great the first cookie you can get through and then when i get halfway through the second cookie it just hits me in the stomach here and i just have to like muscle up some energy but i know if i get through this oh i'm cooking myself amazing roast chicken dinner tonight now yeah, some nice roast chicken get some sweet potato mash get some roast potatoes corn on the cob carrots broccoli gravy cranberry sauce mm. i'm so looking forward to that tonight i keep breaking it up to make it look smaller so mentally there's not as much left to eat it was just giving me like vegan flour vibes or like vegan protein powder vibes it's this blue so they can record but transit time because i think that's something to do with like how healthy your gut microbiome is i'm gonna finish this cookie off camera and then i'll catch up with you in a minute okay so i have had my blue cookies it is currently 20 minutes before i need to do my blood test so i have just checked on the zoe app to try and see how I need to prepare for my blood test. I have been drinking some water. My energy levels since eating the cookie feel a lot higher. I still feel quite nauseous, but I think that's because I've not eaten anything bar cookies, which is a lot of sugar, carbs and fat. I've not really had any protein, so I'm just kind of needing some like whole foods at the moment. But I thought I would prep my blood test with you. I'll warn you before I actually do it so you can skip that part if you are squeamish. Um, so I have got my Zoe box that arrived in the post and I'm just taking out my blood test kit. Before I open it, I'm just going to wash my hands with some antibacterial soap. I have wiped down my table with antibacterial wipes uh, and I'm just going to use some nice warm water as well. Okay, now I've washed my hands. I have, I'll just move that box to the side. I've got myself a mirror because it says to do that so you can see to pierce your skin. Then I have got my blood test kit. I'm going to put that to one side. That's just got the postal package in it for me to send it later. Just doubly check what it says. So I've washed my hands, I've laid all my contents out, and then it says to remove the blood collection device from its packaging. It just comes in this plastic packaging here with all like the medical jargon on the back. Then it says to twist the cap off of this test tube that, and leave that to one side, don't throw it out. I'm going to put my tube onto the blood collection device. It says for a snug fit and the fill line should face outwards. So I'm guessing outwards means facing like the red button. It's not made like a snappy noise, but that feels quite snug. I can't press it any further. And it says to find a spot on the opposite arm to your blood sugar sensor, which should be three fingers down from the top of your shoulder. Right, I'm gonna rub it up and down on my arm for two minutes to increase the blood flow. It says that you can also use your hand if the pack doesn't warm up. 
I've just positioned you down a little bit so you can see everything that I've got out. Now I still have a bit of time. I've got 15 minutes till I actually need to do the test. So I'm just gonna make sure that that stays on my arm. Obviously if it starts getting too hot, don't just leave it on your skin, but that feels fine to me at the moment. So I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, so I've had the heat pack on my arm and then it says to get your blood flowing by doing 10 arm rotations or five jumping jacks. Okay, this is like the only exercise I've been allowed to do all day. Um, so now that I've had my blood flow in, I'm just going to clean my upper arm. Then I need to, so it needs to be three fingers, so it's gonna be like here. Okay, so I definitely say take like the 20 minutes to set this up because this has been after watching everything, obviously filming for you guys. I'm now at 2.52 and I needed to take it at 2.54, so we're on track. So remove the clear cover from the red button, careful not to press it. Peel off the adhesive from the back of the blood collection device. So I can't see any needles or anything in there, it's just clear, which is probably for the best. Hang your arm straight down and stick the device on with the tube facing down. Press the edge to ensure a strong seal. So I need three fingers and it's on. So press down for four seconds, you should hear a click and a slight pinch. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Okay, start a timer and leave it on your arm five minutes. So I just have my Fitbit, so it has a timer function, so I'm just gonna use that. Leave it on your arm for five minutes, watch the tube fill. So I'm gonna place my mirror there, so hopefully you can see and I can see it then. Do not press the bread button more than once during the five minutes and stay still with your arm by your side. So hopefully I'm gonna start collecting blood and then after the five minutes I can review and there should either, it can like go up to the top or it can just have like a layer over the gel. Also, I'm really sorry for how dead I look. Definitely don't go on this Zoe cookie diet <laughs> for the day if you need to look good because I feel like my eyes are so dark. I definitely say that if you are doing this, when it says that you need a clear day for your test day, you really do because you have to be so precise with the timings of things and being able to collect samples. So I definitely would, I mean, I just plan to do nothing today. We took Buddy on a short walk, not a um, like intense one because my heart rate wasn't allowed to go up while I'm doing this. It says to just peel it off. So I'm guessing that it just, a needle doesn't stay in your skin. It just pierces it enough for it to drip out. I don't really know how it works. Okay, so I'm at the halfway fill level now. I definitely recommend getting a mirror because it's making it really easy for me to keep glancing at it to make sure it's not going above the fill level. Because looking down, you can't get like an accurate view. Oh, that's my timer, perfect. So I actually got like a good amount of blood in the five minutes. So it does say that you literally just peel it off. After five minutes, review how much blood do I need to collect? And then you can slowly peel it from one side. So I'm just gonna go, oh. That's interesting. It doesn't look like it was a needle. It looks like it's like a little slice. I need you to stop bleeding, please. Note the time you finish collecting the blood sample. Then remove the tube from the blood collection device by gently pulling downwards and twisting slightly. See, this is where I think I might have screwed it on too tight. I'm literally at the top level as well, so I don't want this to be like a carry scene and blood just go everywhere. Okay, that twist is quite nicely actually. It's my blood. I'm gonna just put that in like my little disposal area there. Place the cap on the tube and press. Turn the tube upside down 10 times, note the gel layer will not mix with the blood. I mean, it don't really seem to be doing anything. It's definitely not shaking the blood. So I am just going to, there's a little slot here. Act, okay. You have to peel this layer a little bit and then you have the little insert slot. So I'm going to pop my sample in here and then I just need to dispose of that following my local biohazard material guidelines so I'll be able to find those online and dispose of it properly. 
So I'm just gonna pop it in my little brown box. And then there is like a little sealer thing here so I can seal that and I'm gonna take that up to the post office. So that really didn't hurt at all. I didn't feel it go in. It did say you might feel a slight pinch, but I personally didn't. So that is kind of the end of my test day. I can have something more than cookies and water now. I can have like a leaf aid. I might get a leaf aid. Although that's just adding sugar back into my body. I'm gonna make something, I might just have some cucumber to be honest until I'm prepping the dinner. I'll do a debrief at the end. I will probably film that on a different day though just because I am not feeling my best having only eaten cookies today. If you have found this video really useful um, because you're interested in getting Zoe and you were interested in finding out what was in the kits, please comment down below. I'm more than happy to continue um, like vlogging my journey with Zoe. I have the one year subscription. That was what I paid for and I used the discount code from the Diary of a CEO podcast as well. And if you are interested, I can also video and kind of do a debrief on my next few days where it's tracking and monitoring my blood sugar levels and then also what food they suggest me to eat so I can see the different combinations that work best for me. If that is something you've interested in and if you have liked this video, please comment down below your thoughts. And while you're down there, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button also. And I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys, bye.